hey what's up everyone so so far so good with our shopping cart right here we can be able to remove a product from our cart we can start shopping and we can also add a product to our cart so this is awesome and in this episode i want us to implement uh, the functionality for our quantity buttons right here so that we can be able to decrease the quantity and also to increase the quantity okay so let's uh, just dive right in and i'll open cut size.js so in the last episode we added this functionality for removing a product from the cut and now let's uh, decrease the cut quantity and right here i will say decrease cut and then this will have access to the state it will also have access to action and we can do something in here so we'll be doing a, like a similar thing that we did with our add to cart right here and we'll get the item index using the find index array method so let's get the index for our item i'll say const item index will be equal to state dot cut items and then dot find index right here we'll get a cut item at a time so cut item and we will check or compare the id so right here we'll say is cut item dot id equal to action dot payload dot id now this will be the id of the time of the item that we are decreasing its quantity so if this is so then we'll get that uh, item index right here and after that we can be able to use this item index to access uh, that particular item in our cut items okay so what i'll do right here i'll perform a check i'll say if state uh, dot cut items and then i'll access our item which we are trying to decrease its quantity using the item index and from here what i want us to do is to check whether the quantity is greater than one so let me explain to you so if the quantity here is greater than one then we want to decrease its quantity but if the quantity is one and we click this button then we want to just remove that product from our cart so the check here will be for our quantity so we'll say if state dot cut items we access the item and then right here we'll access the cut quantity and we'll say if this is greater than one then what we want to do is to decrease its quantity so i'll access the cut quantity again the same way we have done so i'll say state dot cut items we access the item using the item index and then we access the cut quantity and right here what we will do we will just decrease the quantity using minus equal one so we are decreasing the quantity by one and then what we will want to have is a toast message so maybe i can uh, duplicate this and bring it at the bottom here and i'll have it as toast.info so it will be a blue message and we will say decreased this product uh, cut quantity so right here i'll say decreased the name of the product cut quantity right here just like that so we are accessing the name using action.payroll.name so this is for the case when uh, the cut quantity is greater than one so for the case that it's uh, less than one then we want to remove it from our cut so right here i can say else if i perform another check 
if the state dot uh, cut quantity we access the item index okay i messed up so if the state dot cut items we access the item and then we access the cut quantity if this is equal to one then we want to remove the item from our cut so to remove the item from cut we'll do a similar thing as we did right here we will use the filter method uh, and then we'll perform a check and what will happen is that uh, the cut items which are not equal to action.pero.id will be returned to our new array right here okay and then we will be able to uh, update the state using that new array which does not have our cut item so we'll be basically be removing uh, the cut item from uh, the cut so what i will do i'll just copy the content for this one uh, i'll copy everything actually and then i'll come right here where we have an if else i'll paste it here and I'll update the local storage after our if else. So I remove that right there. I will save to auto format and that will be it. Okay. So this is it. Uh, this is how we can be able to uh, decrease the cut quantity and also remove the item from cut if uh, the quantity is less than one. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, export this action creator, decrease cut, and then we'll move to the cut right here. And we'll hook uh, a helper method to our decrease. So let me look for that uh, button where we are decreasing. So it's supposed to be at the top here. So right here, we will add an on click event and I'll use another function and what I will return here is handle decrease cut. We'll pass in our cut item just like that and let's define handle decrease cut. So I'll come right here. I'll say const handle decrease cut. We make it to be another function. We we'll receive the cut item. And right here we can dispatch our action creator. So I'll say dispatch. And we'll dispatch decrease cut, which will come from our cut slice. It will be auto imported. And we invoke it and we pass in our cut item. So this cut item will be received in our cut slice right here as our action.payload and we'll be able to uh, get the item index by performing this check and then we'll be able to uh, access our cut quantity like this and perform a check. If it's greater than one, then we'll decrease the quantity by one and toast a message. Else, if it's equal to one, then we will filter and remove that item from our cut items and update the state right here and then right here we'll toast a message and then finally we will update our local storage so that is it and uh, we can test out this application now i'll come back to the browser i will refresh to make sure that everything is refreshed Let's have more than one cut quantity. So I'll come back right here and add iPhone 12 again. So we have two. Let's try to decrease the quantity. I click and decreased iPhone 12 cut quantity. So it's working. Let's see if it will remove the item from the cut. Now iPhone 12 removed from cut. So this is working and it's awesome. So let me add multiple and try to remove now one of them is gone and we remain with one 
now let's implement uh, this one so we already have the action creator for increasing the quantity and that is the same action creator as add to cart so all we need to do is to hook it up to our button so we will come to where we have uh, our button and it is here so we will add an on click event to this and i set this to be equal to some curry brackets i create an arrow function and i'll call handle increase quantity and then i invoke this all i can say handle increase cut that is much shorter and right here we should pass the item which is our cut item and let's define this helper method so right here i'll say const handle increase cut we set it to be equal to an arrow function which will accept our cut item and we dispatch an action creator and the action creator that we are dispatching is the add to cut action creator and we can pass our cut item right here okay so that our cut item will be received by our add to cut action creator will get its index um, the index will be greater or equal to zero and when it's greater or equal to zero we will just increase its quantity and toast a message so let's test this one out so i'll come right here i will refresh and now we have one quantity right here for iphone 12 let's add and increased iphone 12 pro cut quantity we increase it's increasing and the price also here is increasing we decrease we decrease the quantity and also the price is decreasing so this is working amazing so so far so good we are able to add an item to cut we can increase its quantity and we can decrease its quantity we can also remove it from cut so what remains is clear cut and calculating the subtotal so in the next episode we'll see how we can clear our cut